Hey guys, so I'm back doing my overview of new new So yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. So I'm gonna start off with party. I really loved Harley's party storyline. Even though it was a sad one, it was so good. Um, I really felt bad for Arnie because it's like going to a whole other district. Alright, because like going to a big city when you've lived in the suburbs your whole life is really challenging. It's going to be more challenging for Arnie since he's in a wheelchair. I mean, come on. And I've always lived in the suburbs and I want to move to New York when I graduate high school and I know it's going to be hard for me you know going from the suburbs all quiet and open to go to the city where it's all noisy and you feel like you're in a box <clears throat> so I'm looking forward to it but I'm also terrified so let's see how that goes um, okay, so, um, I'm really happy how his story even got resolved, how he got revenge, he got revenge, what about the, the pepper spray and all that spray all in that guy's face, cause he deserved it for stealing his book bag. Hold up, I'm gonna eat me some Chinese Uh, sorry. Anyway, I was great. He's always great. So, yeah. Next is Clay. Oh my god, with a big smile on my face. Clay was amazing as always, but I love them even more now because their storyline was realistic. That's how it is with couples. I'm a gay or straight. Like, I found it, found it so weird how Blaine moved in right after he graduated. And they said it was like months later. But for me, it's like, it felt like, you know, a week. Because, you know, each episode airs each week. But they say it was like months. And it's like crazy just to move in right after you graduate. I'm glad he had a place to go. He's lucky he had a place to go. Because that was me. Then forget about it. But, um, I really loved how it was resolved and, and how they realized that for either their relationship to work they need some space they can't be together like all the time because that is suffocating and that's really realistic because when you move in with somebody like literally right after high school or anything like that if you move in so you're gonna feel like claustrophobic you're gonna need your space for that someone to, for your relationship to grow and I'm so glad they learned that lesson. Like, I love Ryan Murphy for doing that for us. Like, seriously. Also, I want to talk about Ryan Murphy himself. So I'll get to that. I'm gonna write that down so I don't forget. So, I love Clean and the best. <laughs> <laughs> One of the best scenes in the episode was when they were in class together and they were doing like, the mind thing or whatever. And <laughs> so, like they were doing the boxing and Blaine got closer and closer and closer. Like he was like this. The curtain curve was just like, move, go away. Like, <laughs> Kurt wanted to kill Blaine. <laughs> And that's why I love that whole argument they had in the apartment and whatever. Because that's what couples do. They fight. And I find it so weird how I know about this stuff. And I'm not even in a relationship. I've never been in a relationship. And that's okay. Because I've always been like, 
all of me. I need to be in a relationship like everybody else is in high school and in law school. Well, how come I'm not? But you know what? I don't need a guy to make me happy. I'm, yes, I have issues I'm going through right now. It's not blind. I really don't have to get into it. But I know that I don't need a guy in my life to make me happy. Because, <coughs> excuse me, I have my friends and I have my family. So, yeah. Um, anyway, Club Queen, I can't wait what's going to happen with next week's episode, even though I really don't want to do it, but I'll get back to that a little later, later on. Um, next, Sam. Okay. I love Sam, I love him so much. And because of two reasons. Well, there's many reasons why I love Sam, but in this episode, there are two reasons. One, that he cut his freaking hair. Alright, no offense to anybody who loved Sam's hair the way that it was. But he needed to cut it. Like, Blaine was right. Like, you need a fresh start. You need a new place. You need a fresh start. And I'm glad that he cut that off. <clears throat> and he looks amazing. And, and he just looks great. I love Sam. And, um... Another thing that I was so proud of Sam for doing, when he was um, in his new apartment with that crazy model and saw her taking all those pills and eating those, he was like, uh, this is not for me, I'm out. And that was so smart, because I would have been so mad if Sam got hooked on that stuff, which at first I thought was, good, what, what was going to happen, but it didn't, and I was so happy. Sam was so smart to get his butt out of there. He's like, I'm out. Peace, because this chick is crazy. <laughs> um, anyway, love Sam. Uh, I'm looking forward to him, and you know who. I'll get to that. Yeah. Okay, um, Rachel. I really, really, really love Rachel. I know I said in the past that Rachel annoyed the crap out of me because she did, because she was so annoying in high school. But I love Rachel. And actually, one of my subscribers put on a comment, and I will actually say that comment now because. I couldn't reply to it for some reason because the internet in my school was just really messed up. But, um, uh, hold on, hold on. But they said something that really intrigued me. Okay, so this person is Emily Fisher. Shout out Emily Fisher. Thanks for commenting. Appreciate it. But you said a few things that interest me. Um, you first you said that that was funny, which I didn't even notice. With Lee's dad and Kurt's boy, uh, Chris's boyfriend, I really didn't even know. <clears throat> didn't even notice them at all. So you have good eyes, cause I didn't notice them at all, and I found that was funny. But something you said about Rachel, you said Oh, you said a thing about Rachel always being black since the quarterback episode. Um, you said how she's always wearing black and white, and to be honest, I never even really noticed until you said that, which is cool. But yeah, I feel like Rachel has been in a box since Finn has died, and I actually feel really bad for her. I feel bad for her, and I feel bad for Leah. Because for Rachel, it's just like she lost her soulmate, you know? And I don't think she's ever gonna find anyone else again I mean it'd be cool if she did and she moved on but as for now this season and if she's gonna be single through the whole season the next season she finds somebody that'd be great and uh, for Leah if she does return for season six I will be really really happy but if she doesn't then I will completely understand um I just heard from my friend Callie that she wasn't coming back, or she might not come back. 
So, I'm not sure. I'm not confirming that. I'm just saying that with what I heard. So, if it's true, then I hope she comes back. But if she doesn't, then I will understand. Um, and, um, yeah, so, uh, thank you, Emily, for saying that awesome paragraph. I read the whole thing. I just wanted to put out the Rachel thing. Everything else I agree with you. With. And, uh, next is Mercedes. My baby, you guys all know how much I love Mercedes, and I hope she's sick around, six around for the rest of the season. I guess I want to be there for like three episodes and then drop her. No, I want her to be there for the rest of the season. And it's started. Sam Sadie's, it's gonna happen. It has to happen, and it has to stay happen. Okay, so I'm basically gonna do a whole overview of Sam Sadie's. So, when they first got together, I was so happy because Mercedes needed someone. She needed someone. And Sam was perfect. Perfect. It's just like, it wasn't even an argument. Sam, Mercedes, perfection. And when they came up with the secret that... What, like why won't they keep why they keeping a secret? I would I find that was really interesting and then when Cole was saying he wasn't coming back and they just like dumped Sam Sadies, I was so mad because just like no. I'm glad that Mercedes found another boyfriend. She found Shane. But I was just like team Sam Sadies all day every day. And then when he came back I was like, Yes! My Sam Sadies is back And their relationship was complicated because she was with Shane and she wasn't you know, she's not the girl to, like, dump someone and go for someone else. Like, and that's why I respect Mercedes. Because she's not like what Rachel, she's not what Rachel did and tried to steal someone's boyfriend. Please don't get offended by that. And she's not like Quinn to cheat on all the boy, every boyfriend she's ever had except for Puck. But, um, well, she's not like Santana who just cheats, who cheated anyway. But, um, no, she, she's, you know, she's... Awesome, and she's real. And I thought what she did was really cool. How she didn't just dump Shane out of the blue just to be with Sam, but you knew, you just knew that Mercy was still had feelings for Sam, and I was digging it. And then they had to stop like talking. Like Mercedes decided, I'm just gonna stay single because I really don't know what love is. Like I really don't know what I'm doing when it comes to love. And so she decided to bring it off to Sam and Shane, which I respected. And then after that, when they, I don't even know if they were together in season, I knew in season three. Like they kissed and it wasn't really confirmed they were together. And maybe they did get back together in the summer and then in season four, they weren't together at all. And, Brit and Sam decided to go with Brittany, which I thought was the dumbest thing in the world. Like for people who ship Brittany and Sam, uh, all power to you, but in my opinion, I just thought that shit was stupid. I know in my, like, reaction videos, I'm like, oh, it's so cute, and, and it was cute, but in my mind, I'm just like, no. But, um, I feel like Sam dated Britney, just, like, I don't think Sam was ever over Mercedes. And you said that in last week's episode, because... He still has feelings for Mercedes, and it's obvious that Mercedes still has feelings for Sam, so I can't wait to see what happens with that episode, and they better get together and stay together, because if they don't, then I'm going to get really, 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 really aggravated and angry. Okay, that's all I have to say about that. Uh, I need to hurry this up, because it's becoming a really long video. Okay, um, Blaine Elliot, um, that whole scene... Like, the acting was just flat on amazing. And Blaine was just, like, so angry at Elliot. And he just wanted to kill him. And Elliot... <laughs> this is why I love Elliot. Because he didn't say, like, he didn't get up on Blaine's face. He just, like, are you done? <laughs> and that's why that's so funny. And that's why I love Elliot. Because he's chill. And he doesn't deal with conflict. He doesn't deal with that crap. He just, he just goes straight forward. He just tells you straight up. And instead of 
fighting Blaine, he sits, he gets him a guitar and sits him down and gives him the advice that Blaine needed. That's why I love Elliot. Alright, and I really hope their friendship grows and become really good friends. Um, the songs. Okay, um, I think my favorite song of the whole episode, I have two, um, was... Actually, no, I guess, I think I just had one that was People, excuse me, was People because it was a Rachel solo, and I really helped, liked how they, like, made it the last song of the episode, and how it, like, integrated into the story, it made a lot of sense. Um, I like the song, I love the songs, I'm still gonna buy them, but I like them, but I was more interested in the actual storyline and the songs themselves. Like they were they moved the story along, which I appreciate, but um they weren't like the highlight of the episode or anything like that. Um this one I really want to talk about. Old characters being focused on. I really praise Ryan, Ian, and Brad for doing this, for focusing on the old characters. And like okay. I want to say I hate the new characters, I don't, but I feel like you can't bring new characters in and get us to love them when we already love the characters we've known since season 1 and 2, and I'm so happy that they're focusing on the older characters instead of focusing on the new characters. Now, do they need to focus more on Tina, Quinn, Buck, Brittany, and like really everyone? I guess, yes, I really do. But, I'm glad they're focusing on Arnie's, Kurt, Blaine, Sam, Mercedes, and Rachel. That's pretty cool, and I'm really happy they're doing that. And, will we ever see the new characters again? I don't know, because basically New Directions was the last time we're going to see them until probably, like, season 6. I don't know. But, all I know is the rest of the season is going to take place in New York, so I really like that a lot. And, I have predictions for season 6. I will go into that, like during the season finale of season five, I don't want to get into it now. Um, so no, um moving on. Ryan Murphy. I don't care what anybody says about Ryan Murphy. He's a genius and I love him to death. I'm actually people should be like actually happy that he brought the show to us. Like I I understand they hate, I understand why people get upset, but I feel like it's unnecessary to be young at him and bragging in. It's their show. They have a right to do whatever they want. If you don't like it, then either you should stop watching it or just keep your opinions to yourself. You don't have to like threaten Ryan Murphy or Brad or Ian because they, they did something you didn't like. They're gonna do that, okay? That's what every show do, does. Every show does something that people don't like. But you know what? It's their show. They have every right to do whatever they want. Now, am I saying that people's opinion don't matter? No. You have every right to your opinion. But I'm just saying that you shouldn't be attacking the person who bought you something that gives you <clears throat> some joy. Like, Glee gives me so much joy. Even though they do make plot things that don't make sense. Something that don't make sense at all. But I'm not gonna get mad and stop watching the show. I love this show. This show got me through a lot of hard times. And I love Ryan and Ian and Brad for bringing me that show. And I love everyone involved in the show. And I will watch it until the day it ends. That's how I am. I watch the show until it ends. So, um, yeah, that's just how it is. And I love Ryan Murphy. He does great work. I'm really upset that the new normal got canceled. It's really sad that it did, but they did, and nothing can do about it. <coughs> and I'm looking forward to what he has. He has American Horror Story, which I love, and I'm looking forward to what he does in the future. And last topic is Bash. This episode is. I'm just going to be a mess. That's all I got to say in this episode. That's it. I will talk about more next week. And I want you guys to tell me, like, give me, I know you guys give your, my, your opinions and my last reactions, but I really want you to give me my, your opinion on this episode in general, like, in this episode, in this overview, because I really want to know what you guys think. And I want to know, do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Are you, like, neutral? Like, just let me know, because I really, like, listening to you guys. Oh, and um, shout out 
to Nightbird407. Thank you. I really appreciate your comment. It was so cute and nice. Thank you. And PJ O N H O O one. Thank you for saying you got my reaction. It was sweet and nice. I even commented on it. Um but um thank you guys for coming and I will see you guys next week. Peace.